Hey, have you tried to interview multiple times and you always get rejections? In this video, I will be telling you why. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adora and if this is your first time here, you are very welcome. So like I said, in this video, I'm going to be telling you possible reasons why you keep getting those rejection emails, possible mistakes that you make in your software engineer interview that you don't know about. And if this is something that you're interested in or this is something that you probably have a friend that is interested in, I would please advise you to, sh to watch this video to the end and also share this video with that friend. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so before we go into this video, I would quickly want to give a shout out to Educative. They are sponsoring today's video. Educative is a learning platform that is mostly text-based and this is one of the reasons why I like Educative because it is text-based. This means that you don't have to use so much data because you're trying to watch videos to take a course. It's like you're reading a book, it's like you're going through it. And this time it's like a practical book because you're not just reading books. Educative has other widgets that are embedded in the course. Educative courses are also pretty affordable if you ask me. They currently have courses for how to do well in interviews, how to pass interviews, how to ace interviews. And even beyond interviews, when you finally get the job, they just released a new course that helps you with salary negotiation. If you are interested, click the link in the description and I hope that you take multiple courses and you learn multiple things in Educative and you come back to thank me later. When you click the link in the description and purchase an Educative course with my promo link, you get a 10% discount, so hurry. Okay, so now we're back to the video and the first thing I want to say is one thing some people do I don't know whether they know that they do it or they are just oblivious to the fact that they actually do this thing But you don't fully understand a question and you jump straight into writing code <laughs> Sorry, how is that supposed to end well? <laughs> how is that supposed to end well for you? Even in any exam, if you're taking any exam, like this is not even about like writing code now Or being in an interview, like if you're taking any exam, the first thing you should always do is read the instructions make sure that you understand the instructions and they carry on with the actual question the question is one thing but understanding exactly what you're supposed to do is another thing and most times you'd see that they don't even understand it they'll just jump into it and be writing god knows what like imagine somebody asking you try and remove all the duplicates in a string for example and instead of removing the duplicates you go and count it or you just go and you, go, you end up doing something like, oh, maybe check if the string has duplicates or something like you do something that isn't what the interviewer said you should do. That's a serious problem now. That's a red flag if you ask me. Please, if you are taking an interview for whatever reason, make sure, endeavor to understand the problem that you were asked to solve before you start thinking about giving a solution. Because now the person is already like, ah, does this person even have comprehension issues? Like, because they don't understand and they're not saying they don't understand. That's a, that's a very serious problem. Even in real life, for me as a human being, I'm, I, like, I won't take it. So when you're in a job interview, please, it's okay to like ask the interviewer, oh, I didn't understand what you just said. Do you mind going over it again? Like, it doesn't take anything from you and it, doesn't take, and it wouldn't take anything from them either. At the end of the day, these people are recruiting because they need talent. They need to hire more people because they need it. So nobody, no interviewer is directly trying to sabotage you or trying to make sure you don't get the job. Now, there's a different thing which is politics where, oh, they've already hired who they want to hire so they're just doing interviews on the face so that like I said, they actually did interviews. And that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about genuine interviewers here, genuine companies. Nobody wants to sabotage your interview process and not hire you. You got to that stage because they felt like they, they could hire you. They felt like, okay, this is someone that we can work with and work on the team. So we just need to be sure that this is actually somebody that we can work with so you need to not sabotage yourself don't self-sabotage don't be the reason why you don't get it by doing this one thing and this is something that i really wanted to address don't jump straight into code like there's no reason to jump straight into code sometimes it's important to talk through this code with your interviewer communicate your thought process okay this is how i would approach this problem and this is how i want to solve it and then you people can talk about it and then you go straight into writing code and as you're writing code you're talking you're communicating with this person you're carrying the person along the person is seeing what you're doing 
you know if maybe you're about to jump into one pit or have one problem the person is probably going to ask you questions to draw you back into the right direction you know things like that it's not oh okay random example here oh okay how do you sort an array and the next thing you go okay i'm going to start public static void i don't know sorts <laughs> and then you start writing code you need to calm down okay the code is not running away that whiteboard your hand will still be there that laptop that keyboard you will still press it calm down calm your nerves okay you know you need to, to relax your nerves you know chill down after stress and all that just take a cup of tea take a cup of tea okay maybe before you go for the interview you should drink tea so that should get communicating as you write is something that is a key thing that is very important i've watched a lot of like software engineering interview videos or i've read some books on software engineering interviews when i was interviewing as well and this is something that i see people emphasize a lot about you should communicate communication you don't understand and as you're writing code as well communicate what you are doing so That's the next thing i want to say is lying that you understand a concept when you don't is a trap okay so you're in an interview and then you're there with the person, you're there with the interviewer and after after the whole, you know, tell me about yourself and maybe asking you some kind of soft skill question or whatever, they go ahead to say, oh, do you understand hash sets? And you don't, you've never heard about hash sets in your life. Instead of you to say, ah, I don't understand, I've heard about it before, I've come across it, but I don't really, I don't really know how to, could you explain it to me before you ask me the problem about hash sets? Instead of you to say that, I mean at the end of the day, as a human being, there's no way you can know everything. It's okay to say I don't know. It's okay to not know something and have the person bring you up to a point where okay, both of you now understand the certain thing and they can ask you the question. Oh, oh, you don't understand hash sets. Oh, okay, I'm going to ask you a question on linked lists instead. Or oh, you don't understand hash sets. Okay, this is what hash sets are. So now, based on what I've said, how would you do this? You know, like for them to like instead of that to be the case, they will ask you, oh, do you have an idea of what hash sets are? You with your big head, you say yes, yes, I do. And then they will not be like, okay um this problem abc start this thing and you will now be you will now just scatter everything you will say rubbish you will do rubbish why like it doesn't make any sense at the end of the day the job you are now trying to get you will lose because they're like first of all you're lying and then you're also very unserious like it's okay to not know something nobody will bite you as as i am as a human being there's a lot i don't know and i'm not going to kill myself because of it like every day i learn a lot so learning and unlearning i think I, I believe are things that are part of life it shouldn't be the case of oh i'm going to say i know this thing when they ask me because the fact that they say oh do you understand hash sets? It's not Waeko, it's not Neko, it's not Nigerian school exam. You are actually in a job interview where they're not asking you theory stuff. Like they need you to apply your brain in a certain thing. So the fact that they say, oh, do you understand hash sets? And you say yes. It's not, oh, plus one. They understand hash sets. Let me move on to the next question. That's not how it works. They're going to ask you a follow-up hash sets question. And that's where you scatter everything because you wouldn't know it because you would have lied. The next thing I want to say is that if there's a particular scenario where you should test your code please test it please and there's one thing i want to say i don't think it's a red flag i don't think it's a mistake but it's something i always encourage people to do if you are in an interview please ask questions about the role i keep saying an interview is a two-way thing as much as they are interviewing you to see if this is somebody that i would want to bring on to my team bring on to my company you should also be interviewing them it's like oh okay do i want to work in this kind of place do their goals align with my goals are they a toxic environment will they help me grow all of that stuff you need to ask questions when you're interviewing it's very important so this is not a red flag or anything this is not a oh you don't do it so it's a problem in the interview it's a problem for some people so i've heard but i don't know this is not i wouldn't say that this is like an outright red flag but I would encourage you to ask questions during interviews wherever you can also at the end of the day you're a human being right when you get into that team you're going to be working with people you're going to be working with a team you're going to be building for people so soft skills are also something that is very important are you somebody that demonstrates 
um, teachability are you somebody that is empathetic are you somebody that is enthusiastic and willing to learn are you somebody that has you know are you someone that is a good team player are you a good communicator all these things are very important and these are skills that you should show during that interview process because at the end of the day even if now you write code pass you're not the only code on the block like you are not the only person that can learn how to code embody software engineering and go and write code there are many others you being able to have those hard skills that you learn and also being able to have soft skills people skills is something that is important and it's not only good for your interview but even takes you far in life and in your career and other things demonstrate the different soft skills that you possess and go into that interview hopeful and feeling very confident um at the end of the day don't make it a yes no yes sir yes ma yes no kind of interview try to make it a conversation you know have conversations as they ask you questions answer those questions ask back you know try to have a conversation try to learn even during the interview process because at the end of the day at the end of the day like i said nobody is 100 percent perfect right nobody knows every single thing so it's okay to go into that interview and i mean you might still get the job without possibly answering the questions very correctly because you demonstrated some skills and maybe you got to the question halfway but for whatever reason you couldn't finish it or something so sometimes it's not just about trying to be perfect trying to be seen as someone that has zero fault most times it doesn't work also people that are very obnoxious that go into interviews like oh okay actually what you're saying is wrong what i'm saying is correct and that's on period period your way to the door excuse me period your way out of my office like i mean I, i'm not saying that i'm not someone that wants to take correction i'm not saying that i'm not someone that wants to take feedback from people that work with me or work for me however how your approach to matters now like imagine you're that kind of person that maybe it was a group interview and at the end of the interview you are doing like exam when you come out oh what did they ask you this question oh what did you say the answer is and the person tells you you're like ah you are wrong oh, that's not the answer let me tell you the answer is this because of this it doesn't like it's just somehow it's just like don't do all those type of like very unnecessary and stupid things i'm sorry for using the word stupid but it's actually stupid okay i've said everything that i've said and i hope that you've been able to pick one or two things from everything that i've said and i wish you luck in your next software engineering interview i hope you get that gig that you really want and until next time thank you so much for watching this video to the end if you liked it please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to me please please make sure that you subscribe the button is here thank you once again and i'll see you in my next video bye